All right, everyone, welcome to Sour Horsepower, and it's been a while since we've done just a kind of like a, a mini vlog, I guess, on the channel. Um, been doing a lot of car reviews lately, haven't been doing a lot of racing for various reasons, which I've talked about um, in my live streams, if you've seen them. But today we got a little bit of uh, maintenance to do, so we got to oil change here on the 124 Spider, and then we got to move all these cars around. I got to talk a little bit about the Hellcat Red Eye, and then... I'm going to explain the reasons why things have been a little slow lately. So let's go ahead and get these cars moved around and I'll get back with you. All right, so now we got that started. Now we got to move this and the truck so that way we can get the 124 into the garage to do the oil change. Get up in here. All right, so the truck's moved. And now, to start the one, two, four. Get this nice cold start. I don't think it's been started in two or three days. That should be good. change time in this and then while we're doing the oil change uh we'll talk a little bit more about the uh plans that were supposed to happen but aren't all right so basically if you're been following the channel over the past probably a month or two i said we we're gonna be doing some mods here to the 124 they're still going to happen i was just kind of already having planning having them done by now um, but instead, this will probably be the last video on the channel, or one of the last that you see from inside this garage, because I have bought a house, and we are planning on moving. So, well, I'm going to be moving if I bought a house. So, with that being said, the reason why the uploads haven't been as frequent lately is because I've been working behind the scenes getting all the stuff ready to move. So, with that being said... Moving and buying a house takes a lot of money. A lot of money that we couldn't dump into this right now. But we will, hopefully sometime this fall, get some uh, parts put on this 124 Spider here. But today, um, let me get this here. We got stuff for the oil change. We got Mobile One's Finest, 5W40. And uh, let's see here. Extended Life, STP... It's an S9713XL oil filter. So I got five quarts, but it should only take four. Um, always get a little extra just in case. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. And then uh, put you guys on a time lapse and I'll see you when I'm done. Alright everyone. So, um, we got the oil draining underneath, as you can see. And in there, clearly we've, uh, missed the mark a little bit. So, that is from the oil filter. Now, I'm going to show you... Can you spot the oil filter? I'll tell you where it is. It's that canister right there. Now, let me try and not block the light here. How in the world... Are you supposed to pull that thing out so that is a hard plastic shell right so this tube here only bends so much you got another wire down here why would you put run hoses over top of your oil filter location because it's a cartridge style so you have to like completely pull it out to change it right so what i think i'm gonna see i can't even <laughs> get my hand stuck by the battery bracket i'm gonna take this intake tube off and hope that that gives me enough room to pull it straight up um, because it is not coming through this little hole and i tried pulling it down through here and that's what made the entire mess 
underneath there. So I'm gonna have to clean that up afterwards. And I'm gonna take this intake tube off and hopefully that gives me access to that pesky oil filter. There it is. All right, so here's what we gotta do. You have to loosen the clamps on the intake tube here. So there's one, two, and three. Loosen them up, pull it off of the turbo there to give you some room. You also have to disc or take out this bolt here, this bolt this, for this, this is probably what PCV system. Take that out, because that's bolted down there. So you need to take that off, so that way you can lift the tube up. Then, there's that wire I was telling you about. Where'd it go? That's somewhere. There's a wire here. This connector, that yellow connector right there, it plugs in right here. You have to take that off so that way it doesn't get caught up on the oil filter. So there you go. That's there. Now, change this out. It's pretty easy. You just yank them out and then replace the O-ring. There's the O-ring right here. The new oil filter comes with one. Swap those out, slide it back in. All the oil should be done draining underneath by now. Yep. So I'll clean that oil up, take pull that oil out, put the drain plug back in, and top it off with some oil. And then, yeah, that'll all be done on the time lapse cam over there. So I'll get back with you once I have oil in it and we get started up. All right. So intakes back on, all this stuff up top is done. I don't know if you guys saw, I used a really, really long extension here. So it's like a probably 18 inch extension. I got a one foot and then a six inch. Here, used a 27 millimeter socket to get that son of a gun off. All right, so I know that's a common theme of, you know, the engineers design the cars, but they don't actually think about working on them. Yeah, this is a case of that. Like, come on guys, like just, reroute some of the stuff to make it easier but um again it's not the worst job in the world but we got it full of oil uh oil filters changed the drain plug is in i got i still got to put on the under shroud but i was like doing that after i started up and pressure check check it to make sure there's no leaks so i'm gonna pull it down off the ramps get it down on flat ground and then start it up check the oil level i didn't put a full a full four quarts in. I usually leave just a little bit um, just so I don't have to overfill it and then, or I don't run into the chance of possibly overfilling it and then having to drain more out. I always leave it a little bit low and then if I, after I run it, I'll check the oil and then make sure that it's full. If it's not, I dump in just a tad bit more to top it off. So let's go ahead and start it up, get off these ramps and finish this up and then we'll talk a little bit more about uh, plans coming up. We're good. Alright, so I'll back it down off. Well, actually, pull. So it's not leaking, but I still got to get the this thing back on. And there's like a dozen screws around this thing. Well, all the way around. So let me go put this on. Then we'll back it up and then check the oil level. Oh, uh, one cool thing I did want to point out. There's this NACA duct here. Hopefully you see it um, in the shroud. So it sits under the car like this, right? So the air is going to come in through the NACA duct, and then there's a little deflector that pushes it up. This actually leads right on to the exhaust, which wraps around the oil pan. So if you think the oil pan's right here, the exhaust comes down out of the turbo uh, through the catalytic converter, and then there's the mid pipe that comes down and then around the back side of the engine to go back the car. This NACA duct actually feeds direct cold air right onto the exhaust, so I thought that was kind of cool. Notice that when I was putting it back on, but yeah, let's get to it. All right, so now that I'm a hot, sweaty mess, I uh, checked the oil level. We're good. Um, I didn't need to add any more, so just a little bit under four quarts. 
So yeah, um, parts for this coming soon, I guess. Um, I'm not want to really put a timeline on it because, like I said, we're moving. So got to get the finances squared away. Uh, the Hellcat, I'm hoping to go racing sometime soon. <laughs> um, obviously, the whole month of August has been wiped out. One, because it's been way too hot. Two, most of the Saturdays when we would go racing, it's been raining. And then, so hopefully we get some good weather in September. I'd like to take the car out to the track. Because uh, I might drop, should I drop a bombshell now? We'll wait. There's something happening with the Hellcat. I'll let you guys think about what's going on with it, but... And that's if you're in the video this far anyway. You'll be one of the loyal subscribers anyway if you've made it this far. So we completed oil change in the 124 today. Hellcat's sitting out here looking pretty. Yep. Truck's over here. Um, not much to say. I just crossed 11,000 miles with the truck. Um, I still need to do the first oil change on it. Yeah, I probably should do that too. Might take that one to the dealership because with the diesels, you have to do the fuel filter at the same time. And during the summer, it's just too hot to be doing all that work. Uh, we still got the Renegade. Uh, I haven't done much filming with that. I literally just made the one video because it's, to me, it's not that, um, not that, what's the word I'm looking for? Not that exciting of a vehicle. So I don't know what kind of content to make with it. I don't know what you guys would want to see. So if you did want to see some stuff with the Renegade, Go ahead and comment below. I might be able to film something, but it's kind of uh, my girlfriend's daily, so there's not there's not much to film on it. We're not going out off roading, although maybe we should go off roading in it. I'll think about that. I'll see if I can find an off road park or something. But off roading a daily driver is not necessarily the smartest thing. But let's go ahead and see if I can switch this around. Will it work? No, it's not going to work. All right, so we'll just talk like this. That's kind of been the update. I still want to keep doing the monthly Q&As. So the first Wednesday of every month, I will go live on YouTube. Um, I will post on Instagram and Facebook for your questions prior to that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I would like to put out more content. I've just been super busy this month. So unfortunately, the content's kind of slowed down. When I get to the dealership to see if they have any new stuff to review, I do take a look at that. But uh, the Summit Reserve was kind of a big deal. Um, it's doing pretty good on views, too. But I'm kind of starting to ramble, so I'm going to get out of here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, give me a like. Comment below your thoughts on anything I talked about in this video, whether it's the 124 oil change, the Hellcat, the truck, the Renegade, future plans, getting the house, all that stuff. So, yeah, um, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Have a great day.